Hi, I'm Paul Friedman. I'm the founder of the Marriage Foundation. And hopefully you have already subscribed to this channel and you're starting to see marriage in a very different way. I began teaching people about marriage over 20 years ago. I used to be a divorce mediator and I saw the light. I used to believe in divorce. I really did. Now, I don't. I, I think there's hardly ever a good reason to get a divorce. And I've been teaching this method and this way of seeing marriage to people and it's been changing people's lives. It's not just positive. There's a lot of people who have a positive attitude towards marriage, but I've created a scientific process, a scientific understanding, because like all things in the universe, there's a mechanical component to marriage. And the purpose of marriage has been ignored. The purpose of marriage, can you imagine? We get married without knowing why we get married. We get married in order to be happy. That's it. That's the main reason. The second reason, which is its twin, is that we get married in order to experience unconditional love. And this video really is about those two things. This video is entitled, Why Your Husband Feels Neglected. And I'll just ask you quite simply, if your husband was happier every day of his married life than the day before, you think he'd be feeling neglected? You think neglect is a component of happiness? It is not. And do you think that if your husband was overwhelmed with love from you and for you, that he would feel neglected? No, he certainly would not. Well, I'm gonna give you some real basic stuff because unfortunately our world has gotten so weird when it comes to sex. And it begins with a misunderstanding. Yes, sex. We're going to talk about sex, even though it's your husband feeling neglected. And don't get ahead of me. You think, many of you, that you know exactly where I'm going. And you don't. You see, the problem is that in our society, sex is seen, thank you, Hollywood, as a recreational part of our lives. They divorced sex a long time ago from the need to be married and just said, why shouldn't anyone enjoy sex? And I'm going to start with this very important topic of sex. And it is very important because the truth is we're not animals. We're human beings. God created us. We're very special. Yes, we have a biological body. It's true. And that biological body is constantly pinging the mind, which is not you. I am not a Western psychologist, thank God. But you're not your mind. You're not your body. You are a soul. And as a soul, you're endowed with the highest attributes known. The ability to experience happiness. The ability to experience unconditional love. And the very reason we get married is to experience happiness in unconditional love. And the idea of sex being a recreational thing diminishes us. It lowers us. And we completely miss the beauty of using sex as it's intended to be used by ourselves as human beings. Now, I get into all of this in my books and in the courses that we have at the Marriage Foundation. But let's go back to this topic of why your husband would feel neglected. So, 
you promised him day one that you would love him that you would cherish him and what has happened in our society is that women have been taught to take making love in their marriage off the table as part of the obligation that a woman has to her husband. Now, I'm not old school. I am not parochial. I don't think that women should be expected to have sex with their husbands or they will be damned. No, I think that it is a woman's obligatory devotional joy to take care of her husband. Not to be his slave, his sex slave, but to give him what he wants the same way your husband should be giving you what you want in whatever realm is important to you. And just because there's all this brouhaha around sex in society and how a woman should be able to decide who she's going to have sex with and when, the truth is she should be utilizing sex in her marriage as a sign of love and loyalty to her husband. It should be her loving honor to give her husband that love. And because a woman typically has a much more open heart to lead her husband pro from the proclivity of sexual desire and release to the loving connection that sex can provide you when you know that that is what you're doing. You are connecting. You see, you didn't get married to have sex. Neither did your husband. He got married to feel your love, to feel that connection. Same reason you did. Why not use every tool to achieve it? So that's one huge reason. Now, I pointed that out just because it's come into play so often. But there's a root to this. And the root is that your husband didn't marry you for sex. He married you for love. He did. You know more about love than your husband does. It's built in. You are structured by nature to be a an amazing channel of love so that you could raise and nurture new souls who come into the world. Your husband doesn't have that capacity necessarily. Most don't. He has the capacity to protect. So he needs you. I'm going to ask you simply, are you opening your heart to him? Or are there conditions on your love? Are there conditions on your expressions of love? Because if there are, you're missing the boat. He's missing the boat and your marriage is heading in the wrong direction. And it will continue to head in the wrong direction until it's over. You need to learn how to be married. Now, don't tell me you know how to be married unless you're going to tell me where you learned it. Because I'll tell you where you learned it. You learned it from sitcoms. You learned it from romance novels. You learned it from magazine articles. You learned it from movies. But you didn't learn it from a true authority. And this is what the Marriage Foundation has become, a true authority. Take a look at our website. See what we have. It's so different because we talk about marriage not just in a positive way. Many people are talking about marriage in a positive way now, but also in a scientific way. I break it all down. 
make it all really meaningful, really inviting, because marriage is amazing. I hope you've subscribed to the channel already. I hope you like this video. Leave a comment if you wish. You could ask me questions in the comment boxes or you could write in to our counselors. We have counselors who do nothing but answer these kind of questions for you from our perspective, which is different. You could read our books, but definitely get straight with your husband. It's not your husband's fault that he's feeling neglected. Is it your fault? Only because you haven't learned how. I know you're sincere or you wouldn't have been searching this topic. Thank you for joining. God bless you. Join again and take care.